Hello and welcome back for a new episode about urban gardening. Alessandro here from Spicy Mustache with some more tips in order to help you to create your own green space. If you follow my previous video, you surely heard about soil amendments like compost or mulch. In case you missed my video about mulching, you can check it out in the right corner of the screen. Making your own compost for the garden has multiple benefits. It enriches the soil, helps to retain moisture, suppress plant disease and pests, and it encourages the production of fungi and beneficial bacteria for your garden. Compost is decomposed organic material such as grass clippings, leaves or kitchen waste. I top up all my raised beds twice a year with some good compost in order to improve the structure of my soil. In this way, I help the soil to retain the correct amount of moisture, nutrients and enough air circulation for the roots. So I met up with Alex and Will who started their garden during lockdown and they produced their own compost. Hi, I'm Will Lepper. And I'm Alex Gibbons. And uh, we're from Stowe Gardens. We first set out we're at the beginning of lockdown to set up Stowe Gardens. And the first thing that we discussed was to basically do our own compost. That was a key element to what we were doing. At the moment, we've got three barrels of compost in different sort of stages. Uh, we've got the first one that's produced compost already that we started using in the garden. Um, and it's better than anything you can buy, really. I think as well, yeah, you've, it's all about trying to be sustainable as you can as well. So like mm. any food scraps we've got, we reuse it. So mm. everything we're growing, any scraps from that, we can then reuse in the garden. Mm. Obviously, we live in an urban garden. I don't have any trees here, so I've had to forage at friends and families' places, yeah, yeah. streets and to stuff like that. To start off with, that's leaves. been the way. First of all, I looked into the sort of ratios that you have to use, and it's sort of 30 to 1 is what they say, um, and that's nitrogen, carbon to nitrogen. And... Um, basically it boils down to there's loads of complexities involved in that so now I do two to one ratio so organic matter like your um, food and um, sort of vegetable and fruit uh, waste that you don't use um, you can use eggshells uh, if you wanted to something like that's quite good for it and coffee and tea granules are great for it as well as your organic matter and you'll need dry leaves and you'll need grass as well to add to it to create a really good mixture and it's quite um, key to turn it as well you should do it weekly maybe uh, but I mean sometimes I miss that I do it every two weeks probably um, three weeks yeah <laughs> and if he's doing it he never turns it so that's the problem that's not a lie you've got to watch your compost when you live with this guy <laughs> <laughs> so as you saw in Will and Alex garden they digged their compost bins inside the soil but what about if you don't have soil available in your garden or your balcony or your terrace what are you supposed to do so for example in my garden i don't have any part of soil available i've got just a tiny space but it's all crowded with mint and other things so i don't really want to remove it to place my compost bin so what i'm gonna do is just to place my compost bin on concrete and in order to have enough decomposition i'm just going to introduce worms to the compost bin and that should speed up the decomposing process so the only thing that i'm going to do is to raise up my compost bin from the floor in order to leave a tiny gap and leave enough drainage for my composter and also i'm going to drill some holes on the sides and at the bottom to favor air circulation and drainage So after you drill drainage at the bottom, loads of holes all around in order to have enough air circulation, I place my compost bin on top of some rods to raise it from the floor in order to have a good drainage. What you should do now is simply to start filling up your compost bin. It's recommended to have a ratio of 30 to 1 carbon to nitrogen. Basically, in your compost bin, there are microbes that degrade the organic material. Fast growing microbes means the the decomposing process happens quickly and also that your pile of compost heats up to an ideal temperature. But don't worry, you will still have compost even if you don't 
get right the perfect ratio of 30 to 1 it's just gonna take a bit longer my main rule of thumb is to keep composting simple so i managed to source some materials for my compost bin the carbon camp is often referred to as brown because it includes things like dry leaves dry grass cardboard and straw the main thing is to layer a ratio of two carbon to one nitrogen which means that the brown material always needs to be double the amount of the green material. A good source of nitrogen could be old plant materials that you chop down in small pieces. Also, you could use kitchen scrubs like fruit, vegetables, bread, eggshell, coffee, tea, just don't use meat or oily products in order to avoid disease. Once the compost bin has been filled up with all the layers, basically all you need to do is to turn it two to three times per week. The last thing that I'm gonna do is to water it with some rainwater or unchlorinated water in order to not kill the germs and bacteria inside your compost. I also added some good organic compost in order to start the decomposition process and it's an activant to make sure that the germs and bacteria are gonna start working on decomposing the organic matter. The ideal thing to do is to add red wigglers, which are the correct kind of worms that are actually used for worm composters or compost beans. If you missed my video how to make a warm composter, you can check it in the right corner of the screen. So I would suggest to everyone to start your own composter. Even if you don't have like a huge space or a big garden, you can still do it to give compost to friends and to also recycle whatever waste you got from your kitchen. I hope you liked today's video and hopefully you're gonna start your own composter and I really encourage you to do so. If you would like to see more videos about gardening tips or a healthy life, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification setting in order to be notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you next week on Friday at 12 for another episode. Thank you very much, see ya!